What is Ondo Finance? It is a top RWA crypto or real world asset token within the cryptocurrency market. Now, a couple of things before we get into what is Ondo. You guys can see it's all performance here on the charts. It is down here on some crucial support lines. I personally, not financial advice, really like Ondo Finance at these levels. I've been accumulating Ondo here at these levels for a while, even before the price pop that almost took us to $2. But I do think there's a lot of upside here for multiple reasons. BlackRock is behind Ondo. Uh, JP Morgan is behind Ondo. And I do think with it being a top 100 crypto, still under a billion dollar market cap, there should be and could be a lot of upside here for Ondo. I'm personally betting pretty big on it this bull cycle in the altcoin market. Now, I'm going to give you guys just the basics here on what is Ondo. I just want to talk at you here. So I think you'll really appreciate this video. If you do and you get some good insight, smash the like button for us. Subscribe down to the channel uh, as well. And you don't want to miss out on any of these educational videos. Because when we talk about Ondo, right now it is a leading platform in the decentralized finance space dedicated to bridging the gap between TradFi and decentralized finance. And we do this by tokenizing real world assets. So Larry Fink at BlackRock immediately shifted the conversation to RWA and in particular bridging that gap from TradFi to DeFi in changing the way financial instruments work and allowing them to be tokenized. So what happens here is when you're using Ondo Finance, users can trade tokenized versions of real world securities within a regulated framework. Again, they've crossed their T's, dotted their I's here based on transparency, security, and accessibility. And again, BlackRock and JP Morgan already on board here. The US government's ability to print money to cover its debts, oftentimes, actually all the time, <laughs> makes short duration treasuries a very active, low risk investment, essentially very equivalent to holding dollars, but with added yield, where you don't have the pressure of inflation you know, breathing down your neck. So what Ondo Finance does is it leverages that blockchain technology to basically make it easy and simple uh, when it comes to the trading and ownership of these financial instruments. Again, in the form of short duration treasuries. And it makes them way more accessible to the user. So whenever risk appetite has diminished due to a bear market, the appeal of yields backed by traditional asset classes has grown. We've seen the smartest and biggest investors, the big institutions, this is what they do. And what Ondo Finance has said is, okay, well, if this is the trend and this is happening, let's capitalize on this by offering a platform where investors can access these yields through DeFi. See, this is literally at the cusp, at the forefront of mass adoption. When we talk about bridging the gap from TradFi into DeFi. Now, there are a lot of other key features that we could get into. I'll highlight a couple of them. There's a lot more to unpack here, but this video is meant to get you interested in Ondo Finance. And I gave you kind of a basic rundown for you to now use that as a jumping off point to you know further your research. So, what Ondo does in particular is they offer this concept known as risk isolated vaults, allowing lenders to really be specific about their preference around collateral, um, how they use the funds, and something called LTV or loan to value ratio. And what it does is it isolates risks according to an individual. So you can basically manage your risk on an individual level. Then they have a mechanism called innovative subscription, where you are allowed to, uh, it basically allows any liquidity provider to choose between fixed yield and variable yield positions, right? Floating yield. And then security and compliance 
Ondo Finance has conducted extensive security audits by reputable firms, uh, Certic, Quantstamp, Peck Shield, all the top audit to, uh, auditing companies have looked at this, which is really good. Despite these efforts, the platform advises users to still exercise caution uh, with the experimental nature of this tech. So they've got a ton of different products too, uh, which we'll probably highlight at a different date. Uh, but if you like this video, I'm going to start maybe doing more of these style videos for you guys, especially when news is kind of, you know, not as sexy, uh, which is kind of where we are right now. So if you guys do like this video, let me know and, um, you know, we'll make more of these. But Ondo uh, is available on all these top exchanges. It is not listed on Binance yet, but Coinbase, OKX, and Ondo for me is a, a big player uh, in this RWA space. And if we go back and take a look at that RWA space, which I really like heading into this bull run, you don't have to go too far down to find Ondo here. Underneath AVAX, Chainlink, VeChain, Maker, uh, some other top 100 cryptos. Quite a few in the top 100 that you can make a play on here in the RWA space. And Overall, we're talking about a $27 billion market cap, the RWA uh, space. There's 150 coins right now listed on coin market cap that uh, play in this arena. And I think Ondo Finance has as good of a chance as any to really, really outperform the rest of the market once we get into the full-fledged bull cycle. Um, of course, with BlackRock coming in, uh, this is going to be huge. Again, real world assets, this space bridging the gap from TradFi to DeFi, Ondo Finance, a big player. Let me know what you guys think about this down below. Appreciate you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Peace out.